Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo ThinkBook 16. This is going to be the Gen 6, the Intel version. I'm going to show you how to get inside and access your RAM. So first thing guys, power down the computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now you have a total of nine screws. These four along this edge here, these screws actually come out. The rest of the screws, these three on top and these two in the middle, those screws are going to stay in the bottom case, even though they've been unscrewed from the, the threading. After that, I found it easiest to use my pry tool and start from the back and pry this edge up first and then work my way down the sides towards the front. I recommend a plastic pry tool because metal will tend to scratch this case a bit more. Go all the way around, and if you get stuck in one spot, just leave it to go to the other side and pry it up from this seam right here. Once you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging the computer you're working on. If you need any help with any tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model, ThinkBook 16, there'll be a link above. Also below in the description, it'll take you to a list of all those replacement upgrade parts, as well as the tools and supplies you may need to work on this computer. Now, before touching anything in a computer, you want to at least unplug your battery first. It makes the computer safer to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. So here's your battery right there. It's held in by five screws. You got these three on top, these two near the bottom corners. And after you remove those screws, it plugs into the motherboard right here. Now, as with any cables in a computer, try to avoid pulling on the cables when at all possible. Manipulate just the plug if you can. So this one didn't have very large grips. You can try to use a pair of pliers to grab it, but you may have to grip those wires very, very securely. Try to get as much of your finger on, on the black plug as you can and gently, slowly wiggle that out to get that out. So after the battery has been removed or at least unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. Your RAM is right here under this black guard. After you peel that guard back, you'll reveal these two RAM ports right there. So most of you will have the right one empty and an eight gigabyte stick in the left one stock from the retail store. Now the way you operate the RAM, there's a spring loaded metal arm on either side, top and bottom in this case. You gently pry those apart from each other away from the RAM stick. The RAM stick will then release. Oftentimes it will pop up a little bit and you can grab it and slide it to the left out of this port. The way to plug RAM back in, as you notice, there's a long side to the port and a short side. So the RAM can only go in one way. You can't put it in upside down. And after you get it in nice and straight and flush and even, you just press in the center down and these metal arms will latch onto it and secure it into place. Now this computer has a maximum RAM capacity of 64 gigabytes, so there's plenty of room to upgrade this from the eight that many of you will have stock. Below in the description, I'll have that link I told you about with all the replacement parts and upgrade parts. I'll try to have several RAM options in there. For those of you that are just looking to do a small upgrade, I'll have an eight, another eight gigabyte stick and a 16 gigabyte stick that are compatible with this computer. For those of you that want to max the RAM out, I'll have a full 64 gigabyte kit, which would include two 32 gigabyte sticks. And I always recommend people to max out your RAM if you want the best performance. RAM is a huge part of the speed factor of your computer and maxing out your RAM is probably one of the easiest and cheapest things to do to maximize that kind of performance. So I hope this video was helpful. If you guys want the same type of information on the solid state drive, I'll have that video link below in the description where I go over that solid state drive and what kind of upgrades are offered. Uh, but this video was how you access the RAM in this model computer. So that's the video guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. 
To support the channel, please remember to like and share, subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials, and for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation, and there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.